This is big and small travel. We're in Montenegro. Montenegro. The name Montenegro originates from the Venetians. Montenegro literally means Black Mountain. Montenegro is known for an unspoiled coastline, mountains, canyons, and the biggest lake in the Balkans. Montenegro is located in southeastern Europe along the Adriatic Sea. Montenegro was a part of the former Yugoslavia. It gained its independence in 2006. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. There it is. We enjoyed the exquisite landscapes of Montenegro. However, tourism has grown exponentially. So it's a it's a cruise ship destination too. Watch out for big crowds and expensive prices. We're actually in right now in Budva, specifically. This is Budva. Yes. In this video, we're gonna show you some of the coastal towns of Montenegro, including Bar, Budva, and Kotor as well as the capital city, Podgorica. You'll be able to see different parts of Montenegro. We didn't see all of it, but we definitely got a feel in general in early October. Yes. Kind of low season, actually. Enjoy. But still full of tourists. We took the bus from Sarajevo to the capital of Podgorica. The journey was quite long and a little harrowing, but the views were pretty incredible. <laughs> took a train to Bar. Welcome to Montenegro. We are in Bar on the boardwalk. We enjoyed Bar very much because of its laid back local feel. Also, if you have time, be sure to check out the oldest olive tree in the world. It's over 2,000 years old and it's near Bar. This is our walk to Starry Bar, the old town of Bar, and we are going to cross the railway tracks. I thought, I thought Montenegro <laughs> was supposed to be about beaches. Well, this town is actually a little interesting because it was built off of the coastline. We will find out why when we get there. So on our walk up to Starry Bar, we saw a lot of pomegranate trees. Thank you. And now we get the freshly squeezed pomegranate juice.
We took the bus from Bar to Budvar, the most popular tourist destination in Montenegro, known for its beaches. Who would have thought that Budva, Montenegro would have such an incredible balcony? This is one of the places that just has really surprised us, confounded us, and confused us. We are in Budva in Montenegro. We are heading into of course. <laughs> we are now heading to Stari Grad, the old town of Budva, which is probably the most charming part of this town. We are in Budva, in the old town. Look at this, this is a huge bell. No information about it. We walked around looking for local flavor in Budva. So the problem is, it's low season already, so things are beginning to close early. We're walking the city walls here of Budva. about 300 meters and it gets you to Magran Beach. I don't know. But there are a lot of cats around. That's a common theme. After a very awful bus ride, we made it to Kotar. Kotar is a city that dates from the 5th century BC. There have been many occupations and people through here. A historic town with clear, visible Venetian style. And we are looking forward to our lunch. So we are at Cesarica. And this was actually a recommendation from one of our favorite YouTube travel couples, Samuel and Audrey. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. There it is. Wow, it has arrived. Squid with shrimp inside, and then it came with some potatoes and Swiss chard. It looks very healthy. I like that. How does it look? Okay. Let's see how it tastes. So, it's early October, we thought it would be low season travel, but Kotar is still very busy. It's a cruise ship town, so there's a lot of people here. This is what we came to Kotor for. To climb up the walls here. We hope it'll be a little more exciting than the old town, which feels very, very touristy. Uh, I heard it was like two, three euros, and 
it's actually eight euros now and it's October. So it's I've not never even, seen a high It's not even the high before. season and we just, we can't be spending eight euros a person to be going up a hill. Um, so it's disappointing to say the least. We have a little bit of a nice view here. I imagine it's much nicer if you go up and pay 16 euros for two people. Thumbs down. It does pain us to not do this hike, but sometimes you just have to know when not to do something and uh, move on. We took the bus back to Budva from Kotar. But I guess we could have just hitchhiked. So we walked up from where we were staying in Budva and discovered something really nice. We found a cafe and restaurant with probably the best view of the old town. So to get here, basically come up from the Adriatic Highway and it's a short walk, only about 10 minutes. You can also run if you want to be challenged and you're here. station is some about a kilometer away from the actual town. The right next to the rail to get there. Montenegro is not exactly friendly if you don't have a car. Big and small usually almost 100% of the time don't rent cars. It saves a lot of money. We still get around though. We spent some time in the town of Virpazar. You need to rent or get a boat to really see a lot of the lake. So we know you're dying to know how big and small spend their Friday night. <laughs> we were in Belgrade and we talked about how it's a nightlife area. But Montenegro is known for beaches and it's known for... Rakia! Known as well in Serbia. Um, what sort of fruit they use depends on the region. And where and you are, of so course. So this, this was actually handmade by our host here in Bar, and he used grape. So that's the, the flavor that's of this area. Do a shot. Okay, it's a really big shot. Let's see if we Look can make that. it here with our mascot. That's Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad. Clearly, Montenegro, I hate to use this word, it's overused. It is clearly very beautiful here. However, big and small have yet to be in such a relentlessly touristic place. As Big was saying, Budva in particular on the coast is very much set up as a resort town. So we've had some difficulties finding maybe more of a local flair. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want to watch more of our adventures in the Balkans.